G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist, coming to you today with something different. This is Grack's all-purpose, high-performance chain lubrication designed by those boffins at Allied Cycle Works, the folks responsible for the construction of this beautiful bike to my right, the Allied Echo, a bike I have reviewed, and you can check that out linked in the description below. Also accompanying the lube is the Grax Cleaner. If you ride regularly on the gravelly roads less traveled, you know already that mud, crud, grime, dirt, grit, sand, and other bollocks worms its way into your precious chain as you pedal along. Suffice to say, that puts a ton of wear and stress onto your chain. I hate nothing worse than riding with a squeaky, crunchy chain, especially if I have to listen to someone else's squeaky, crunchy chain. Moving on, Ally claimed that the special formulation of Grax will shed mud, crud, and other disgusting materials in the most extreme of conditions and be long lasting at the same time. Hypothetically, you get a fast and smooth chain that looks pretty clean as well. And you might also find yourself a bonus watt or two for those so inclined. Now this product isn't just for racer types, it's for everybody who likes to ride on the gravelly roads less traveled. You can purchase Grax chain lubrication by its own, or you can purchase a Grax treated chain direct from Allied themselves. This bike happened to arrive with such a chain pre-treated with Grax. To put these claims of longevity to the test, I rode this very bike with this very chain in Alabama, Georgia, and Florida between 375 miles and 400 miles without adding a single drop of Grax to the chain. Admittedly, I rode in pretty dry conditions. There was no mud and slop during my test scenario. I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Regardless, that sort of mileage over those types of roads does put a lot of wear and tear onto your chain. When the bike turned over approximately 400 miles, that's when I noticed the chain began to sound very dry, but it had not collected any dirt on the chain or on the pulleys. At no way during that time period did I clean the chain or apply additional Grax lubrication. Now it's time to switch to a different scene to show you reapplication of Grax and so on. This is a very dry chain. It has way more than 350 miles since the Grax was originally applied. Time to apply. Directions, scan code on the back. The directions imply that you simply wind the chain back and apply the lube as the chain is rolling backwards. Pretty simple. I'm gonna use the master link right there as my reference point, so let's go. This is a very interesting white color. And it does say the directions to leave this to dry for an hour. Oops, there we go. Probably applied a little bit too much. Now I'm gonna run the chain for a bit here. I'll run through the gears in a second to really get it bedded in. Run through the gears time. Onto the big chain ring. I think we're good. Leave the chain to dry for an hour and ride it in the morning and hopefully it's no longer dry and crunchy. There be the drivetrain of the Allied Cycle Works Echo immediately after Steamboat Gravel. I haven't cleaned anything. There's some surface dust, obviously, but you can see the drivetrain is pretty clean. And here is another view of the chain. Let's listen to the drivetrain. Precariously balancing the bike. Super quiet. 
This chain here on the Ally Cycle Works Echo Review Bike has a decent amount of miles on it. And it's probably time for a nice deep cleaning courtesy of Allied's Grex High Performance Drive Train Cleaner. So just real quick, let's measure it with the Park Tool CC3 chain checker. Still got a decent amount of uh, wear left, so no worries, not time to replace it yet. But I have applied Grex lube at least three times to this particular chain, and per their recommendations, now's a good time to clean it. And I have a really nasty, dirty ride happening tomorrow. So let's see how this goes. According to the directions, you're supposed to liberally apply this and let it soak for a while. So let's do that. So, turn up through the chain. All right. Now, take a scrub brush here. I'm gonna apply a little bit extra to the scrub brush just because The directions say once you've scrubbed the chain vigorously with the cleaner, rinse it off with water and hypothetically it should be gleaming. It's also clear the pulleys a quick scrub off. They look nice and clean actually. There's like nothing on them. Bit of a chain ring scrub. They're quite clean. There's like no gunk built up in these chain rings whatsoever, which is often a problem with a lot of lubes. They get caked up with dirt and so on. Now just check out between those cogs. Okay, I've just been scrubbing the chain, but there's no buildup of crud anywhere between the teeth of this cassette. And this is the cassette I've been running from day one and 11 to 34, old Tegra 11 speed. Let's give the chain a bit of a scrub on the backside. Once in a while, I'll apply a little bit more cleaner. There's a distinctive odor to this cleaner. It looks like the Grax, whenever you apply it, the Grax is a white looking color. It has a odor of a cleaner of some kind. A lot of times in the past when I've cleaned chains, I've used one of those mechanical chain cleaning things like a little reservoir you fill it up with some degreaser and so on and run it through the backwards. So this is a little bit more work, but the results of Grax thus far have been very impressive. And this is pretty much the final test for me. I mentioned the disgusting conditions I'll be riding in tomorrow. I'm supposed to be pissing rain all day. I'm gonna be riding mixed surface roads. So you'll get to see that in the video a little later. I've thoroughly scrubbed the chain and I'm whacking it a little bit more cleaner. I'm just going to run it through. Then I'm going to let the chain sit and allow the Grax cleaner to do its magic. It's rinsed the chain time and I need to purchase a new hose. Well, I think the chain looks pretty clean. Now it's time to dry it off and then apply some Grax lube. Wipe off the chain, dry as possible. A crappy rag is probably better for this job versus a paper towel like I have going on. Now it's time to apply the Grax. For the directions, you want it slathering each link. What I'll do now is I'll run it through the gears real quick. Righto, I'll let it sit and I'll come and check on it in an hour's time. That's about how long it takes for this goodness to dry into the chain. Doing an extreme yikes drive crane test. That's the disc brake, the rotor, and uh, caliper full of crap. Behold the Allied Cycle Works Echo post sludge ride. Of interest, 
the drivetrain. Let's check it out closer and see how it sounds. Remember, it was coated with Grax before the ride. It's a little bit crunchy to be expected, but this was a really tough ride on the drivetrain and I did not add any Grax or any other type of lube during the ride which totaled about 70 miles. Now one thing is for certain, the lads I rode with have lubricated their chains at least two times. I didn't touch my chain at all. And look at that rear derailleur. It is bloody covered in crap. Ditto for the crank set, front derailleur, chain rings, etc. But the chain looks somewhat decent. So the big question, is Grax chain lubrication for you? That will be a resounding yes if you're the sort of person who likes to ride their chain sans noise, sans dirt, sans fuss, and a minimum of reapplication for long periods of time. In fact, up until recently, when I just discovered Grax, I was riding the same chain lube brand since 1998, but I'm more than likely gonna switch over to Grax. And that leads me to close off this review. I realize nowadays there's a ton of lubrication choices for your bicycle of any kind. So I hope that my review of Allied Grax chain lubrication went some way in helping you make an informed purchase decision. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for review content such as this. No bull gravel bike reviews ride experience videos, and other general madness as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.